G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. What we'll be looking at today is what I've been carrying and what I've added to my water purification kit. What I have been carrying for quite a while, probably close to three or four years, is the Sawyer Mini. Now it hasn't let me down yet, it's still going really strong. As long as you back uh, wash it every time you get home or every chance you get, the flow has been no problem at all. And that's kept me, well let's say, I haven't been sick in the whole time from drinking water with using this. And what I've actually added, the first thing, is the Soya, what's this, the Micro Squeeze. No other reason for adding this apart from it's shorter. And that's it. I believe it's the same water filter inside of each, and it's just the size and the setup. Where this one can be added to your normal drinks water bottle, the same as that, but then you can add this to another bottle so you've got a dirty water and a clean water so you can have a gravity f uh, feed on this one so it will just drip through and you don't have some there squeezing it uh, that one you don't that's all you got is your straw bit to suck on and one end to add in now that did come with a let's see uh, the measurement on this blah 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 16 ounce one that was the original one and that is still going and what came with that is a bigger one which I've got up here on one of my shelves and this is the 32 ounce pack so but this one is still going nice and strong and like I said the only reason I got that is because it was shorter and actually fits in the pouches and my pack easier, less sticking out and I can put it in the ditty bag or I can put it in with my cup kit. Now the first thing I added to that <coughs> was aqua tabs just for backup or an emergency just in case for any reason this failed and there's 50 in this box and the difference between these and the filters is the water you can drink straight away is as it comes out or as it's coming out you can actually drink it straight away and these you have to add and wait uh, half an hour for it to be safe to drink but still it'll kill all your bacteria and that's a backup to these never liked the idea of carrying these. I'm going to take my glasses off so I can read. But uh, being out there in the bush and the more people that go out there there's more chance of something being in the water. So yeah I thought I'd better carry a backup. Let's see this kills waterborne organisms that cause stomach upsets, diarrhea, making water safer to drink. So I'm not saying it's 100% safe, but making it safer. It's only tiny little tabs. They do add a bit of flavor. It's like on that strip there, there's 10. And there's a size comparison. Now I don't take the box with me, I've got a strip. And that's in my uh, cup kit, I believe, at the moment. And what I've just been to pick up is a water filter bag from Helicon Tex. Now, I was going to buy the Browns version, but they didn't have it in stock. But that's fine, because I normally buy two of most things so I've got one for my hiking pack set up and then I've got one for my bushcraft uh, bush walking overnights in another pack 
So I'm never going to lose one for my hiking. So that's that's this one. Now what do these do? They hold up to three liters. And the instructions simply are: dip the bag hole bag in clean water, fill the bag with dirty water, and hang freely. Wait several minutes to let the dirty water drain. Clean the bag's interior and after use. Now it says here, wet the bag with clean water. Well, if you're out in the bush, there's a problem with that. You don't have the water's clean, but you just get the cleanest water to soak it and then fill it up with the, dirt, the dirty water out your out the creek or out the river running or in emergencies, probably out of a puddle and just let that drip. So that would go, I don't have one of my pots here, but that'd be ideal for draining the filter, uh, filtering all the, the grit and the dirt out and then boiling the water once it's gone into the pot. So I think I'm covered in all scenarios now. So that's to fit filter all the grit and gravel and bits of debris out or the little bits of twigs and grass and whatever goes into there. It actually folds down even smaller. If we give it a cinch up. Basically folds in half. So that's not going to take much room up in the pack whether it goes in down a gap in that or it lays flat with everything else up against it. It's not going to make much difference. So that's the three systems I use for filtering and purifying my water. And like I said, my cook pot uh, is, I've got one in that pack and one in another pack over there at the moment. I should have got them out to show you, but we all have a cook pot, or most of us do, to boil water in, even in your jet boil. Fill that up, turn it on, boil the water, let it boil for one or two minutes, then it's all ready to drink or use to make your food. Uh, don't drink it from boiling because you're going to need to let it cool down because you don't want to scold yourself, especially if you're out in the bush or anywhere. So there you go, that's my kit. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have and you're not a subscriber, please go down below and click on the subscribe button, the notification bell next to it and select all and click the thumbs up button, the like button. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.